AI has been useful to everyone in many aspects since the introduction to this modern developing world. In generative AIs, ChatGPT has made a significant role in the many fields, but Google's SGE has come up, providing a serious competition to ChatGPT4. Let us explore how ChatGPT4 is facing strong competition from Google's SGE. The world is on the cost of the paradigm-shifting technology revolution as ChatGPT battles Google. It is undeniable that ChatGPT has become quite popular. The internet is ablaze with the exceptional NLP skills and succinct reply. However, the OpenAI AI chatbot has become more well-known as the would-be Google killer. Some analysts view it as Google's greatest enemy and the undisputed lord of the internet. Interestingly, Google is facing existential questions as a result of the buzz around ChatGPT. After all, ChatGPT can rapidly respond to complicated inquiries with in-depth details. Conversational replies do better with users than search-based ones, as demonstrated by ChatGPT. Within the first week of its launch, ChatGPT had 1 million users. The search for an effective and clever search tool has been a never-ending effort in a world where details are plentiful and constantly developing. Enter Google's groundbreaking invention, the Search Generative Experience, a search engine driven by AI that is destined to transform how Indian users traverse the massive information ecosystem. The SGE has garnered a great deal of enthusiasm and expectation since it was shown at the famous Google I.O. event. A clever and convenient method of searching the result is provided by SGE. It streamlined the information finding process to deliver a speedy, precise response to your inquiry and does away with the need to go through several web pages. A new age of intelligent and user-focused search has arrived thanks to SGE from Google. SGE has removed the inconvenience of browsing through online sites by streamlining their search process, delivering quick and clear answers, and presenting a plethora of relevant visual material. The most recent invention from San Francisco-based OpenAI, a research company deeply involved in artificial intelligence and its practical application, is ChatGPT. ChatGPT has attracted unheard of interest. Within a week of its November 2018 launching, it had 1 million users. It accepts text inquiries and produces human-like answers to the question. Google and ChatGPT had comparable functions, yet the two systems are fundamentally distinct. The AI bot named ChatGPT excels at understanding natural language and responding in a human-like manner. Google, on the other hand, is a search engine that gathers data suitable to a query from millions of websites. The CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, stated in 2021 that working their daily serves as a reminder of the scale of the socioeconomic changes that are coming more quickly than most people anticipate. The labor that people do will be increasingly replaced by software that can think and learn. He predicted that a digital tsunami and chat GPT is the result. The generative pre-trained transformer or the most recent GPT 3.5 model, both of which are versions of OpenAI's generative text artificial intelligence model, were used to train chat GPT in order to produce replies that are human-like. ChatGPT uses deep NLP and machine learning algorithms. With its dialogue-based interactions, ChatGPT is nimble. Give ChatGPT any text prompt, and it will respond with a human-like response right away. By the way, the brand new AI chatbot, which has been open to the public for free since November 2018, can respond to practically any query. Additionally, it can compose screenplays, stories, poems, scientific studies, and code snippets. On what appears to be common to ChatGPT and Google seems to fulfill the same function responding to users' inquiries, but they each use a different approach. A novel approach to conversational-based, human-like engagement is taken by ChatGPT. Google, on the other hand, follows the conversational path. It takes the query, compares it with billions of online pages, and displays the most pertinent result. We now live in a world where chatbots are becoming more prevalent as artificial intelligence and machine learning grows to advance at a rapid rate. Google's language model for dialogue application Lambda SGE, has garnered news. It is rumored that it has been taught to converse with people in a way that it is more casual and open-ended. In the meantime, ChatGPT4 is becoming well-known as a versatile natural language processing tool. A chatbot's effectiveness depends on the capacity to deliver replies that appears to have come from a real person. SGE performs better than ChatGPT4 in mimicking natural language and engaging in a more in-depth discussion when it comes to human-like answers. SG also seemed to be offended by the silly queries. It was discovered. Transformer architecture is a style of a neural network that handles sequential input and it is used by both ChatGPT and Google SGE. Their training dataset, however, are very different. 
a sizable data set of texts from the internet, including books, papers, and documents collected from the open web, was used to train ChatGPT4. SGE's training, on the other hand, concentrated on Infiniset, a dataset created especially for discussions and communications. As a consequence, while both models are capable of comprehending and producing a variety of texts for various reasons, SGE is more adept at engaging in open-ended, conversational dialogues with people. In order to do this, the Google team developed hierarchically based clusters of high-level ideas and subjects, which were then utilized to guide the model's decision-making during response. With the help of this method, SGE may comprehend the question underlying meaning and the subtleties of conversational context. SGE is even better at handling complex discussions since it can shift context when a user changes the topic. Access to the internet is one of the key distinctions between ChatGPT4 and Google SGE. While ChatGPT4 relies on a dataset that only extends until late 2021, SGE may draw its replies in real time from the internet. Due to this constraint, ChatGPT4 can find it difficult to deliver current information, whereas SGE can present the most recent responses to queries and the most recent search. Additionally, each of SGE's responses has a little Google search symbol. As you click on it, it offers similar search suggestions that you may touch to send to Google. A chatbot must be user-friendly in order to be used by a wide variety of users. When compared to ChatGPT4, SGE is more user-friendly. It looks prettier and includes prepared text that is much simpler to scan. Furthermore, SGE gives you the option to amend your questions once you submit them. Along with being able to search for the response online, you can also upvote or downvote it. SGE's user interface appears to be more structured and cleaner overall. A variety of activities such as summarizing, creating paragraphs, and translating may be completed by chatbot. ChatGPT excels in text processing, making it a perfect choice for applications like summarization where correctness and thoroughness are essential. SGE offers greater conversational AI capabilities. ChatGPT is a flexible and useful tool for anybody dealing with a natural language processing NLP, due to its capacity to carry out numerous jobs on a more textual level. To sum it all up, Google SGE and ChatGPT4 are both effective conversational AI technologies that shine in various contexts. When it comes to human-like responses, user-friendliness, user-friendliness of the UI, the real-time internet connectivity, SGE performs better than ChatGPT4. However, ChatGPT4 excels at text processing tasks like summarizing and creating paragraphs. Despite SGE's attempt at extreme realism, his reactions don't succeed in creating hallucination or fabricating news. Furthermore, SGE is available to everyone for free, whereas ChatGPT4 has a limited user base and charges a fee. Depending on the particular use case and requirements, we must take these elements into consideration while selecting between the two technologies. If you enjoy watching our content, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Comment your thoughts below in the comment section.